In this episode of Paul Talk, I discuss the top five sales and productivity tools that I use and my team uses to be more effective at identifying, reaching out to, and ultimately starting a conversation with uh, prospects. As salespeople, we know that there's a ton of different tools out there. Some of them are task management tools. Some of them are prospecting and cadence tools. Uh, some of them are just tools that help us find what we wanna find. Um, and a lot of times when deciding between what to use, it can actually become daunting. It's overwhelming. So I want to share the top five tools that I've used, not just for myself personally, but uh, for business and, and for my team that we found to be really, really successful. Now, one thing to keep in mind as I mention these tools is that a lot of them revolve around two big things. Uh, the first one is having a Gmail or a business uh, email account uh, tied into Gmail, like a Google business account, um, because that makes it a lot easier to use the plugins. Uh, and the second thing is having a LinkedIn account. The basic LinkedIn account doesn't really provide enough because they have limits on searches. So if you want to use these tools most effectively, the recommendation I have is to go out there and buy yourself a premium LinkedIn account. I think it's four or $500 for the entire year. But what that does is it opens up the number of connections that you can access and it also allows you unlimited searches and that's really what we need as we try to identify the, the, the right prospects. I'll talk about prospecting on LinkedIn in a separate episode uh, because that's definitely a big thing but let's stay focused on these top tools so the number one tool that I use and I'll mention first and by the way all the tools are going to be listed with the links below so in case you miss it um, just look at the comments and you'll be able to see it so the first tool I want to talk about is called LastPass and LastPass is just an overall great tool that manages your passwords I know there's other tools out there like single sign-on etc etc but I love LastPass for its flexibility uh, for its integration with uh, Google Chrome and how easy it makes it for me especially having multiple logins for one specific website to swap between the users so I don't have to enter all these passwords again so LastPass enables me to enter my password in my username once it flags that when I sign on I store the password in a secure uh, database and anytime I visit that website or any uh, similar subdomain or piece of that site it pulls in the password so I can quickly sign in highly recommend starting with that tool to get your passwords all stored and saved so as you're jumping between these different tools sometimes you get signed out whatever it may be you can use that tool to sign on that's the number one productivity tool and time saver just in general that, that I can recommend. Uh, the next four are important as they kind of flow together and they're more related to kind of the day-to-day -day sales operations that we have here and that I recommend and use myself. The first uh, tool is called Lead IQ. And Lead IQ is an incredible tool that enables you to quickly pull information from LinkedIn uh, prospects. Uh, again, that's why it ties into LinkedIn, so I highly recommend getting that account set up first. And then you can use Lead IQ on a trial basis to test the waters, but it's also a month-to-month -month subscription and it's really cost-effective for contacts. So what happens is you sign up, you download their plugin. Their plugin then monitors your LinkedIn searches. So if you're looking for VPs or CTOs or CEOs in a specific location, you simply run your LinkedIn search as you normally would. You click the plugin and it monitors all of the prospects that you have on that page. And then you can individually add any prospect that you want to find out contact information for right on that plugin. And then you can export it to a Google Sheet. You can use Lead IQ's. Uh, own viewing tool to view the different prospects and reach out to them, or you can bulk export them or integrate them with a CRM. One of the top ones they use is obviously Salesforce because it's the easiest. So if you want to load leads into uh, Salesforce quickly or export leads quickly for the right prospects, Lead IQ is your avenue. 
The really cool thing about Lead IQ, in my opinion, is that unless they have a verified email, then they're not going to charge you for that specific export. So they go through, they make the verifications, and so this way you know you're getting the right email addresses every single time. A lot of times, too, I think one out of every three or one out of every four prospects you pull, they give you a phone number, whether it's an office line or a cell phone. So if you do want to go back to the traditional reach out and make that cold call, uh, that absolutely gives you that opportunity, which kind of keeps you above the competition because most lead acquisition tools uh, don't have verified information and a lot of them only have emails. Okay, so that's Lead IQ. Uh, but even that needs a little bit of verification. Or let's say that you uh, don't want to invest or don't have the money to invest into a, a tool like this. Well, how can I still get access to or at least verify emails for free? So there's another tool, a lot of people know about it, but I wanna mention it here because I've been using it for as long as I can remember, and that's called Reportive. And Reportive is a really simple plugin. Um, it's, it's one of my second top choices uh, when trying to verify emails. And, and so what that tool does is it lives within Gmail. Uh, you connect to your LinkedIn account through the tool, and anytime you input an email into the to line to, to send the email out, it will verify to see if that email is tied in to your prospect's email account on LinkedIn. And so what you'll find is a lot of high level people that you wanna reach out to, business owners, CEOs, CTOs, VPs, directors, managers, and even a lot of um, you know individual contributors connect their business account or their, their work account to LinkedIn because they wanna receive their messages to their work account versus their personal. And so if you find a prospect, you can play with Gmail and you know type in first name at company.com and see if that hits. Then first dot last name, first letter last name. So you can try different combinations and see if that email does pull up through LinkedIn. If their profile information pops up once you've entered their email address, you know for a fact that that email is one that's not only connected to their LinkedIn account, but it's a verified email that you can send something to so that you know your message is delivered. The cool thing about Reportive is that it's completely free. Of course, there's a little bit more manual work to do with every free tool. It doesn't automate that side of it where you have to kind of guess the emails, but keep in mind, if you have an email uh, structure that you've identified for a company, you can presume, unless it's really high level people within a startup, that all the other emails follow a similar structure. So if you wanna email Bob Edwards, okay, and his email is bob.edwards at company.com, then Steve Smith at the same company is probably gonna be steve.smith at company.com. So keep that in mind. It's all about identifying that initial structure and then using that to follow and email how many of our prospects you want. So that's two. Um, the third tool that I really like, um, and there is a trial for this tool as well for you to try it out. It does integrate with various CRMs. And we've recently started using it, um, and I like it a lot. It's called SendBloom. And SendBloom is an automation tool that enables you to send uh, multiple emails to a prospect at once in the form of campaigns. So if you're hitting a specific industry, and, and I, in a separate Paul talk, I talk about the importance of understanding an industry, you can build campaigns that are company or industry specific, load those email templates into SendBloom, pull a list of prospects, either using Lead IQ or Reportive, and start a campaign where that person within that campaign is emailed at a time that you desire, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Now granted, you're not gonna get the level of customization that you do sending one-to-one -one emails, but if you're trying to test the waters and identify certain people within an organization, this is a great way, especially making it industry specific, that you can send multiple emails and multiple follow-ups without lifting a finger. And if you use a CRM like Salesforce, it'll track it as logged activity so you always know what's going on. The best thing about SendBloom is that if you do get a response 
that person falls out of that campaign. So you don't have to worry about the system constantly emailing without you having control of when to start or stop any campaign or even any individual email uh, that goes to a prospect. So I highly recommend testing this tool out. Um, and, and if you have used any of these tools, feel free to comment below and let me know because I am curious about other people's experiences with these tools. Uh, so, so that's the email cadence tool. As you can see, it's kind of flowing where you have a acquisition, you have a verification, and then you have email cadence that really falls through. Now there's also some interesting things you can do with email customization, and this is a, a Gmail plugin that we love to use, and the plugin's called Mixmax. Mixmax is a great tool, um, that's tool number four. Uh, it's a great tool because what it does is it really beautifies email, it provides certain cadence tools, there is a free version of it that you can use forever. Um, it doesn't give you all the functionality, but there's a lot there that you can use. Um, it uh, turns links into little bubbles that have a good amount of information. It turns profiles into more visually appealing profile links, especially with LinkedIn. So it has a lot of beautification. Um, send later, uh, snoozing, follow up reminder, stuff like that. So it's a really good productivity tool if you're just using for a simple way to beautify your emails, make things a little bit more efficient. And also there is templates that are built into Mixmax that you can create. So if you don't wanna pay for a cadence tool and you wanna do manual templates and manual emails, you can use Mixmax and they have shortcuts that you can pull templates very, very quickly and it'll push everything into your email inbox right away. So it's a great time saver, it's a free tool, and it's also month to month, very inexpensive if you do wanna you know, make that investment into a tool like this. It's a super interesting way to send emails and we get a lot of great feedback from you know, what we send, uh, especially these days where if you wanna send a couple of links to your website without sending some kind of an attachment, it really beautifies things for you. Um, so I, I highly recommend it. So quick recap, right? We've got LastPass for your passwords. We've got Lead IQ to pull leads using LinkedIn with contact information that's verified. We have Reportive as a great tool to verify emails within Gmail anyway. We've got SendBloom to automate email cadence if you wanna have an automated campaign and template system. And then of course, finally, you have Mixmax, which gives you that functionality in a semi-automated way, but still gives you the ability to beautify uh, your emails and, and, and it's also a great way to, to manage your inbox. Uh, like, subscribe, follow, whatever you can do. Comment um, on it. I'd love to hear if anybody's used these tools in the past. And I'll see you at the next Paul Talk. I hope this was helpful. The subject line needs to have some actual meat. Do your research on the prospect. Nobody wants the same shit over and over again. Nobody wants that generic ass email that you send to everybody else.